Hello and welcome to yet another lecture on control system. Paper code PCEE503. Myself, Prothito Rai, Assistant Professor of Dr. Shukir Chandrasu Institute of Technology and Sports Complex, Department of Electrical Engineering. Today, my topic is error analysis. So, at the end of this topic, students will be able to understand the concept of steady state errors in control systems due to step, RAM, and parabolic inputs, system types, and error constants. So, steady state error. We have already known that steady state error means input difference between steady state error is the difference between the reference input and obtain output at t tends to infinity and it is depend on the depends on the input applied to the system so steady state error is the difference between reference input and obtain output when t tends to infinity and the steady state error which is depends on the input that is applied to the system so in order to obtain or to understand the conception of steady state error let us diagram this is called gs the open loop transfer function of the system this is gs this is the output or cs of the system Summing point and input to the system is R S. So feedback is taken plus and minus. So feedback path is taken in form of HS. This is called the Error signal is ES error signal. So it is clear from the block diagram that ES equal to ES equal to Clear from the block diagram, E is equal to R S minus B S. R S minus B S. So B S is nothing but this point is C S. This point is C S. So this is. CS which is multiplying with HS so CH into HS. So CS can be written as RS minus 
minus C S H S. So Now what is CS? CS is nothing but ES into GS. CS, that value is ES into GS. So we can write RS minus ES GS Ages. That is yes. So if I take this part to the left hand side, move this part to the left hand side of that equation here. So the E is became Error signal E has become R is by one plus G S H S. This is generally the formation of Error signal that we have given to the error signal. So we are dealing with steady state error. We are dealing with steady state error. So for steady state error. Symbol that is error at steady state can be written as that I have already told limiting value of t tends to infinity dt so if I take the Final value theorem. If I take the from from the final value theorem, so from final value theorem, from final value theorem. Is in Laplace domain, converting it from time domain to Laplace domain, this error can be written as steady state error can be written as limit s tends to zero LT or LIM is into yes. So this error, this error equation became a steady state error equation. It will become a steady state error equation when limit limiting value using the conception of final value is tends to zero is into R S. This is the S yes, into ES. So ES is putting those values of ES here. So this is the mathematical expression of steady state error.
Now, that we have already done the mathematical expression of steady state error is ESS equal to S stands for steady state, limit S stands to in zero, S into limit S stands to zero, S into RS one plus GS HS that we have already done here limit s tends to 0 s into rs 1 plus gshl this is the equation of steady state error this equation so now here now we are obtaining a step input which is applied to a system so in the step input is applied the Laplace transformation of the step input. Step input is one by s. The Laplace information of the step input is Laplace transformation of the step input is one by s. So steady state error from that equation it will become limit s tends to zero. S into R S that is the input, the input step input and its Laplace is one by s. So one by s into one plus yes it is so it can be written as 1 by 1 plus limit s tends to 0 gh so it it can be written as 1 by 1 plus kp so kp is known as positional error coefficient so kp is known as positional error coefficient and kp is given as limit s tends to 0 gh so when a step input is applied to a system, the value of the error coefficient that we get uh, is known as the positional error coefficient and the KP value is given by unit S tends to 0 GH when a step input is applied to the system with the value of the positional error coefficient that we have that we will get. Now ramp input is given to a system. So you will know, we all know that the Laplace of our ramp function is R s equal to 1 by s square. So again I am putting the equation in steady state here. So it is given that E s is equal to limit s tends to 0. S into R s is 1 by s square, 1 by g s, 1 by 1 plus g h so 1 by limit s tends to 0 s so this part will become 0 plus limit s tends to 0 is g h so the equation again come this part will be then 0 when limit s tends to 0 that is value is 0 so it will be 1 by limit s tends to 0 is g h so it will be 1 by k v so k v is known as velocity error coefficient where value of the kp is limit s tends to 0 is gh so this is known as velocity error coefficient so when a ramp input is provided to a system a steady state error that we obtain from the system is e s s equal to 1 by kv where kv is the velocity error coefficient and the value of kv is limit s tends to 0 is gh Now, when parabolic input is given to a system, we are considering a unit parabolic input or unit parabola. So, RS will be that is the Laplace transformation of the parabolic input is 1 by S cube. So, ESS that is the error, steady state error will be given limit S tends to 0. S into RS that is 1 by S cube into 1 by 1 plus GH. So it will become 1 by limit S tends to 0 S square, limit S tends to 0 S square GH plus limit S tends to 0 S square GH. So it will become 1 by limit S tends to 0 S square GH. So it is 1 by KA. So KA stands for 
acceleration is at coefficient. So value of k is limit is next to zero. Is square gh. That means when a parabolic input is applied to a system, the value of steady state error is e s is equal to one by k a, where k suffix a stands for acceleration error coefficient. And value of acceleration error coefficient that is k suffix a equal to limit s tends to zero is square gh. So we all know that kp that is the positional error coefficient, kb the velocity error coefficient, and ka the acceleration error coefficient are known as or are called as static error coefficient. So those error coefficients are generally known as static error coefficient. So let us take a general equation of an open loop transfer function of a n type system. So when I tell that the type, so a question will arrive, what is the type of the system? The type of the system means number of transfer function poles lies on the origin. So how many transfer function poles are lies on, on the origin, it will determine the type of a system. So let us put TLF that is open loop transfer function, that is the general form is given by K. From I to N, TIS plus 1 by S to the power N, from J to N, TJS plus 1 equal to G, where A is stands for DC again, tau. That is the tau i s plus one tau j s plus one so this tau is generally stands for time constant if n value is zero so it will become it is called the zero type system or type zero system is if n value is one so this is called the type one system if n value is two this is called the type two system so it is clear that the type of the system is determined by the number of transfer function poles that are lies on the origin. So there is no pole means and the origin means the system is zero type system or type zero system. If there is a one pole, is a one pole in the origin, on the origin the system is called type one system. If there are two poles on the origin, the system is called the type two system. Now, let us take type 0 system. Now we are applying the scaping. So type 0 system means there are no poles of a transfer function that lies on the origin. So we have already seen that when we applied a step input to a system, we always concentrate on the positional error coefficient. You always concentrate on the positional in that coefficient that is called the KP. So KP is known as limit S tends to zero GH. So what is the GH? GH can be written as that we have already seen that uh, that is the GH conception. So open loop transfer function. So it will k into tu1 s plus 1 t2 s plus 1 in this way and ta s plus 1 tb s plus 1 in this way so limit s tends to 0 means this entire term this entire thing becomes 0 or the k will be left so for time 0 system value of kp is k so what is the steady state error the value of steady state error is 1 by 1 plus kp that is 1 by 1 plus k so means when for a type zero system when a step input is applied the value of positional error coefficient kp equal to k but k is stands for that we already know the dc gain and the steady state error value is one by one plus k now for type one system type one system means there is an s there is no S in the 
denominator that means there is no uh, there is no uh, open loop holes at the origin there is a single open loop hole at the origin it is suggested that it is a type one system and the value of kp is limit s tends to zero gh so when i put the value the value of kp will be become infinity so steady state error became one by infinity equal to zero that means for a type one system when a step input is applied to the system the value of positional error coefficient is infinity and corresponding steady state value the steady state error is zero now for the type two system so type two means number of open loop holes lies on the origin is two so the kp value is limit s tends to zero k by s square that suggests that it's a type two system into this part so same case the kp became infinity and steady state error became one by infinity equal to zero so for a type two system when a step input is given to the system the value of positional error coefficient is infinity and corresponding steady state error value is zero so if i summarize that entire thing for a step input it is clear that this is a type of a system and this steady state error is is not the case is so for a type zero system the steady state error is one by one plus k for type one system the steady state error is zero for type two system the steady state error is zero so when a state input is applied to a system how the steady state error that we obtain and the is same in a table format now for the ramp input so ramp input when we provide a ramp input to a system we always concentrate on the velocity error coefficient that is kv so value of the kv is limit s tends to zero is gh now let us type zero system the value of kv is limit s tends to zero is into gh so when s tends to zero this value goes to zero so steady state error es is equal by kv equal to one by zero equal to infinity so for a type zero system when a ramp input is given to the system the value of velocity error uh, for a type zero system when a ramp input is given the value of velocity error coefficient is zero and the value of steady state error that is es is infinity now for a type one system for a type one system the value of velocity error coefficient kv equal to s tends to zero s into gh so here for a type one system there will be one by s because one hole will lie on the origin it will be k by s the entire transfer function there is a gh so the value of kv became k so the steady state error became one by kv equal to one by k so it is clear for a type one system when a ramp input is given to the system the value of velocity error coefficient is k the value of steady state error is one by k now for the type two system for a type two system uh, the value of velocity error coefficient that is uh, given that limit s tends to zero is into gh so for type two system it will be one by s square so it is clear that the value of kv is infinity and the steady state error that is one by kv equal to zero so for a ramp input the velocity value of the velocity error coefficient for a type two system is infinity and corresponding steady state error value is zero now for the ramp input if I summarize that thing for type zero system, steady state error is infinity. For type error system, steady state error is one by k, and for type two system, the steady state error is zero. Now we are applying a parabolic 
input. Now you all know for the parabolic input. We are concentrated on the acceleration. A A that is called the acceleration error coefficient. So for acceleration error coefficient, we all know that A A is S tends to 0 S square GH. So for type 0 system, the value of KA, just putting those values, we will get that limit S tends to 0 S square with GH. So it will be A equal to 0. So steady state error is 1 by KA, that is 1 by 0 equal to infinity. So when a parabolic input is given to a type 0 system, the value of acceleration error coefficient k equal to zero and steady state error is infinity. Now for a type one system, the value of k is limit s tends to zero s square into one by s into g s. So k a will be zero. So value of steady state error equal to one by k a equal to one by zero equal to infinity. For for a type one system, when a parabolic input is given value of acceleration error coefficient that is ka equal to zero and the value of steady state error is infinity so for a type 2 system the value of ka is limit s tends to zero s square into gh so value of ka equal to k so value of steady state error is one by ka equal to one by k so means for a type 2 system when a parabolic input is given to the system the value of acceleration error coefficient that is ka equal to k and the value of uh, parabolic uh, axial, uh, the value of steady state error that is e s is equal to 1 by k so for a parabolic input that is the time and the steady state error so for a type type and the steady state error for type 0 system the steady state error is infinity for type 1 system the steady state error is infinity for type 2 system, the steady state error is 1 by k. So, this is the general formation of type of a system and along with the steady state error for different type of a system for different inputs. So today we have learned about the error analysis, the conception of steady state error, and different type of static error coefficient that is called the positional error coefficient, Kp, velocity error coefficient, Kb, and the acceleration error coefficient, Ka. Those static error coefficient for step, ramp, and parabolic input the type of the system and what uh, what does a type of the system means that is what is the type of the system that is type of the system means the number of transfer function poles lies on it on the origin and for the type 0 type 1 and the type 2 system when step ramp and parabolic input is given to the system how does different steady state error we obtain that we have already known thank you